Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Until I learn how to transfer a video from my new tablet to my computer, which I got frustrated with, so I shut it down and I'm using my little camera, I've got to show you this. All right, I'm going to play some of it. This is the FBI, fair use, copyright, design, patent law, and all that. Take a listen. Ago, just after the government instituted the whole isolation policy, we began hearing reports of a mass epidemic, some unknown disease sweeping the country. The details were vague at first, nothing on the cause or transmission of the disease, only that it was highly contagious and in most cases fatal. Let me just stop this here. Okay, this is a video, a little, kind of like I Pet Goat 2. It's a 2007 Japanese CGI, like I Pet Goat 2, anime film, written, directed, and edited by the famed ping pong director Fumihiko Sori. And he tells who his voices are in it. All right, and I got this from wikipedia.org. Wiki slash Bexel. Okay, let's move this forward a little bit. And let you see a little more about it. Let's see, what is this part? Um... It takes place in Japan of 2077. A female agent named Vexel is dispatched to Tokyo to investigate whether Japanese are developing robotic technology, which has been banned by the UN due to its potential threat to humankind. Yeah, like they would really care. That's what they're after. All right, let me see if I can play this from here. By the UN, due to its potential threat to humankind. Before the general public even had time to react, the government declared a state of emergency and ordered a mandatory vaccination program for our protection, they said. As it turns out, that was the beginning of our nightmare. That's the part I wanted to get to. All right. So I'm going to close this off here so you can click on the link in the description box to this channel. Let's see. It's called Thoughts, Camera, and Action. Never heard of them. I got a, a link in my email. Thoughts, Camera, Action. Hmm. And it's called Vexel 2077. Your thoughts? Hmm. Me thinks it's more predictive programming, just like I Pet Goat 2. Those are my thoughts. They're telling you what they're going to do because Satan has to tell us what he's going to do before he does it. I've been trying to say that to people. Some people don't want to hear it. Jesus said, or the Lord, the Word of God says in Amos 3, 7, Surely the Lord God does nothing until he reveals it to his servants, the prophets, first. So why shouldn't Satan have to do the same? It is an agreement between God and him. I don't know where to find that. Don't remember where I learned it. I just know it is so. And every day or every so often, every few days, I see more and more this predictive programming going on just like I did with a box of cereal the other day, making a wave of cascading change. It shows mountains in the background, which are probably the cascades. It's cascading farms, a cinnamon crunch cereal, but the picture looks like the land below the mountains. To me, it looks like it's been flooded. It could be poor drawing, but I think it's predictive programming in a very subtle, like subliminal message kind of a way. 
Anyway, I will end this here and say bye for now, brothers and sisters. Keep me in your prayers as you are in mine. I pray we meet soon. I hope we do. I hope, I hope.